This is a composting bin. You know, it's good for the worms because they are getting to eat, but then they make the manure, which turns into like dirt and the dirt for the plants to eat on, which are which is really cool. A lot of people don't like these little suckers, but I mean, they're cute to me. Almost two years ago, I had been in a juvenile facility out in California and had been really shocked by the quality of food that kids were eating, by the lack of physical activity options that kids were being given. More than a third of American kids are overweight or obese, and more than a fifth of American kids are food insecure. Many of the kids in the juvenile facilities are not only grappling with that dynamic, but they're clearly grappling with other challenges that led them to be in a juvenile facility in the first place. Growing up, I learned things that I shouldn't have. Instead of acting out on other people, I'd rather hurt myself. For instance, when I got arrested, I was trying to crash a car. I didn't learn how to handle myself. My biological mother would uh, do things that would make the kids sick, like rotten milk, um, molded bread. I started to think about, well, what could we at the Clinton Foundation do to try to at least dent, if not change, this dynamic? And I immediately thought of the Alliance for Healthy Generation. We're the largest school-based child health and wellness program in the country. We're in more than 22,000 schools. We work with more than 13 million kids every day. There's certainly schools in all the juvenile facilities. I wonder if we could make a real contribution. I'm Amy Mejia, and I'm the principal at Arkansas Juvenile Assessment and Treatment Center. We have higher risk offenders and low risk offenders. When I was first introduced to the Alliance, I said, wow, they're doing great work, it appears, in the school system. Now we're going to say we're going to do this, we're going to try to create this model within a correctional setting. Initially our reaction was it might be a bit of a challenge because it's just, a, it's not a school, it's not that same environment. 35 to 60 percent of our population has an identified special education need and up to 80 percent of our students are on psychotropic medications. And we're going to plant some new seeds. Does anyone need boots? What size? Ajax facility in particular is one of those facilities that can be used as a model. Every class has a certain section off part of the garden and within that class each resident has their own little spot for them to plant whatever they want. The resources that the Alliance can provide our facility will almost seamlessly transition into creating a more healthy environment for our students. If you have a ground-to-table program, let us provide you with healthy, nutritious recipes. Let us incorporate this program into your health education curriculum. You don't want to over feed yourself and make sugars process into fat, but you don't want to not eat and make your body feed off of your, your muscles. Where did you, you learn about all that? Um, here, <laughs> actually here. <laughs> At the Ventura facility, we see that there was a need there. They were pretty much starting from scratch, and they were really excited about the opportunity to bring wellness to their facility. They just didn't know where to start. The Alliance for a Healthier Generation looked at our activities for youth and whether or not we had a, a real robust recreation schedule for the youth here at the facility and realized it wasn't as meaningful and significant as we wanted it to be. The Alliance is a hands-on approach. We can find ways to make small changes and incorporate little things so that facilities can still have a successful PE program and a health education program. The garden shows what we're doing inside of us, trying to sculpt ourselves into what we need to be and what we need to become. The kids that are going to be part of the pilot program, they deserve every tool and every option and every opportunity to make healthier choices than the ones that wound them up there in the first place. So some of that's not getting into a fight, some of it's not doing drugs, but some of it is taking care of their bodies to recognize that that's part of taking care of their minds and their spirits. All my life, I grew up with self-esteem problems. Now I can look at myself and I'll be like, you're that next one, you're gonna do something big. And here I am sitting with, <laughs> then doing something big. <laughs>